I have an Elan trailer that was purchased from Harbor Freight many years ago. The trailer itself is still in great condition, functions really nicely, but unfortunately the tires, well, they've dry rotted and will not hold any air at all. So I wanted to see if I could fix this problem. I first went to Harbor Freight and to get another tire, which only comes in a wheel and tire combo, is going to cost about $30 a piece. I wanted to see if I could find a way to do that a little bit cheaper. So I looked on Amazon and I found a way to replace the tire with a tube for about half that price. So let's see if this works. To remove the wheel on this trailer is pretty simple. I just had to take out a cotter pin that slides through the axle. I wanted to reuse this pin, so I carefully unbent both sides and slid it out. And the only pieces left were a washer and the wheel. I then took it to my workbench where I thought it would be easy to remove, but it was definitely more of a challenge than expected. So after using a pry bar, a screwdriver, and a wooden wedge, the tire finally separated from the wheel. And to my surprise, it was a lot more rusty than I thought it would be. But before I tackled that, I had to remove the old valve stem. Fortunately, that was easy with some pliers. I then wiped off the wheel with a wet towel and used a combination of sandpaper and a wire brush to remove as much of the chipping paint and rust as possible. Luckily, when I started on the second wheel, there was not nearly as much rust as the first. I then took both of them outside for a quick coating of primer and paint. And after a few hours of drying, the wheels looked much, much better. The next challenge was to install the new tubes and tires. To do that, I figured it would be smarter to remove the tube and deflate it as much as possible, and then slide it back into the tire. But just like the removal was a challenge, the installation was just as difficult. Plus, I had to be careful to avoid scratching the paint and making sure I did not pinch the tube or the valve stem. So after a few minutes of prying and pushing, the tire slid over the last inch of the rim. I then used an air pump to pressurize the tube to 15 PSI. This is only half of the max, but it should be good enough for our needs. And with both tires complete, I reinstalled them in a reverse pattern in which I removed them. Now the trailer looks and moves much nicer. In fact, I can roll it around with just one finger. And that is a way to fix your trailer tires and save a little bit of money along the way.